interest in trading has surged during the COVID-19 pandemic, with investors flocking to platforms such as Robinhood and eToro. With time on their hands during movement restrictions and extra money to invest after a raft of government stimulus packages, retail traders jumped on the US meme stock fat, think AMC Entertainment and GameStop, and haven't stopped trading since. But there's one group of traders who've been flying under the radar. Teenagers around the world are using their pocket money to turn around big profits on buying and selling shares. One of them is Advait Arya, a 16-year-old student from Abu Dhabi, who's almost tripled his initial investment to 30,000 dirhams. Welcome to Pocketful of Dirhams. I'm Felicity Glover, the personal finance editor at The National. Joining me today is Advait Arya, a teenage trader who's here to talk about his investing journey. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to Pocketful of Dirhams on your favorite podcasting app. Welcome to the show, Advait. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Thanks for being here. Look, I have so many questions about um, your journey as a teenage trader. So I think, you know, let's start from the beginning. When, How old were you when you first started trading? And when was that? Was that last year? I was 15 years old when I first started trading. I believe, yeah, it was last year during the lockdown. But I like I always knew what the stock market was and how it worked. I think since the age of nine to ten, like when I was nine to ten, I knew what it was because my family is like you know deeply invested in making money from the stock market, including my father, grandfather, uncles, family friends, a lot more. So you know I was always brought up in an atmosphere where it was extremely common to talk about stocks and equities on the dinner table, for example. And my grandfather especially has invested and earned so much money on the Indian stock market, and. All his mornings are in front of the TV where he watches the stock market news and his setup where he trades. So I think being bought up in such an atmosphere really just gave me a head start to uh, investing in the stock market. So yeah, I started last year during the lockdown when I, I had a lot of free time and didn't know how to really spend it. So yeah, when I was 15, I would say I started it. Okay, that's interesting. Tell me, what do you like about trading? What has you know drawn you in? I mean, you've mentioned your your family and their influence, but there must be, I think, you know, trading can be for some, but not necessarily for others to do. So, what is it that that drew you to it? So, yeah, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but obviously, the best thing about trading is the idea that you can make money from the comfort of your home. I really like the fact that I have made money out of my savings, which now I can use for my personal expenses, like going out with my friends and perhaps saving the rest for my college tuition, living costs, etc. And it's just the fact that I'm not depending on my parents to provide me with money. I think that's what makes me proud of trading. I actually also started trading during the lockdown last year, as I said, and I literally did not have anything to do. School was over. And I think this is why I looked into areas that interested me. And of course, one of them being the stock market. So I believe the free time that came out of this lockdown was definitely an integral component of why I started trading. And yeah, as, as I said before, my parents and my family was deeply has deeply influenced me and made me really like the stock market. And I think that's what really pushes me to trade. Absolutely. How did you learn to trade? Are you self-taught? Uh, I don't know if I can say self-taught exactly because my dad was the one who really got me started trading on the stock market. So basically he explained me all the basics, fundamentals, how it works, what time it start, what time the market starts, etc. But I also used to sit with my grandfather back in India trying to comprehend what was going on. And he also taught me a few things. But to truly understand the hard concepts, I used Investopedia. I still think it's a wonderful free resource on the internet that can get you started on trading in the stock market. I think literally the only requirement you need to use Investopedia is to understand English. And that's pretty much it. So it's open to all age groups. And it's just amazing how it is a completely free resource, yet it manages to teach individuals so much about trading. Additionally, I also use YouTube tutorials from um, Charlie Chang. I'm not sure if you have heard of him, but he's really famous and and giving his analysis on the stock market on YouTube. I think, I believe he has over 400k subscribers. And I really like his videos because they're so detailed. I do acknowledge the fact that sometimes he uses complicated terminology that a lot of people don't understand, including me. But in general, he's just really amazing and his, and his insights are really detailed. And most of the time, it's accurate. What about uh, what platform are you using or do you have a custodian account through your parents? So I normally use eToro. I think it's a very famous platform, especially nowadays. I love how easy it is to use the website. They give you detailed insights as well as the trades of successful traders. 
so you can exactly replicate them. And I think that really helped my journey in trading on the stock market because I looked at traders who made money and all, and who also lost a lot of money, which obviously gave me a lot of scope for analysis and evaluating why it happened or why it could be prevented. Additionally, it also has a virtual trading account where they assign you $100,000 and you can trade with virtual money and stocks. I believe it is known as a demo account in all other platforms. And I started my trading journey with a demo account first, which you know helped me to get acknowledged to all the terms and how the stock market works, basically, because it's never easy to learn some, a new concept. And I think the demo account really helps in this case. But nevertheless, it is my parents' account where the money gets transferred in the case I decide to withdraw the profits. Okay, that's uh, that's interesting. Uh, it's interesting how you started out with a demo account. I think that's a really good idea. Uh, you know, hopefully you can get rid of uh, some early mistakes through through the demo because uh, it's you know play money that you're using. Exactly. Can I ask you? Um, I know this is a little bit off. Uh, the gamification of trading through meme meme stocks like AMC, GameStop, um, you know, and this you know huge rush into rob apps like you know eToro and Robinhood. Do you think that that's what has attracted more people and more young people like yourself to start trading? I definitely think so. I think I mean, if I scroll on Instagram right now and I follow so many meme pages, I think so many of them are. Uh, towards the stock market, like memes on the stock market, and especially the Robinhood case right now recently, and from uh, which attracted a lot of users from Reddit. And I believe I think um, Reddit is mostly directed towards such a teen audience. And I believe that has attracted a lot of you know people my age to come and trade on the stock market. And yeah, generally speaking, I think it is the you know surge in the memes targeted towards trading and stock market and those sort of concepts that has attracted such a young population in this time. Yeah, I think you're right, definitely. Tell me though, I mean, this is the big question. How much did you initially start trading with and in what stocks? Oh, this was a very long ago. But so basically I have a savings account in ADIB. And I believe I started off with approximately 7,000, 8,000 dirhams. This was basically all the money I had saved over the years given to me by my relatives, parents, friends, birthday money, etc. And I believe the first stock I bought was one share of Google for approximately $1,400 at that time. And even at that time, my investment strategy was pretty simple. I was always sticking in for the long term. I was not necessarily a day trader because I believe day trader requires a lot of time commitment and which I did not particularly have, especially being a student in high school. So yeah, that left me with around 3,000 dirhams, which I also invested in other companies. But I think by far my most profitable investment has been Tesla. The growth it has seen over the past year has been over 125%. And it was insane like how much money I made from it at the time. So how much money have you made from Tesla? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember exact figures, but I believe 6,000, 7,000 dirhams. That's not bad. Not bad. Um, and you're still, uh, you've still got stocks in Tesla? No, not not now. I sold them a few oh, really? while ago. Okay. Um, okay. So tell me, what's the current worth of your portfolio now? And what stocks are you trading in at the moment? So right now, my savings account has approximately 28,000 dirhams. I believe it touched its peak at 30,000 dirhams, but then I made a few wrong choices so that now I'm at 28,000. But as for portfolio, I've been recently trading EA, Electronic Arts, the video company. Apparently, the stocks are expected to rise during this month and just in general, the long term. They're also anticipating the release of their new game, FIFA 2022, this month, which comes in with many improvements and updates. I think it, there's also, they released an intriguing, you know, a next generation hyper motion technology, which just really interested me reading about it. And I think it was a good choice to invest in it. I've also invested in FedEx right now. They're growing continuously, especially their revenue. And they saw a huge boom in their sales, especially during the pandemic. As, uh, and even as people return to stores, they're still growing. And then the general Apple, Facebook, Bank of America. Okay. So you mentioned that you have lost some money, um, you know, just with some mistakes. How did that happen? And what did you do uh, when you realized you'd made a mistake? Did you remain calm and, uh, you know, just kind of carried on uh, hoping that they, they would, um, you know, that the stocks would rise again? Or did you sell? So, uh, yeah, I did lose a lot of money when trading the stocks, especially of Baxter International. For those of you who don't know, it is a healthcare company headquartered in Deerfields, United States. 
And at the time, I thought because of the pandemic, their revenue is most likely to rise. And hence, more people will be interested in buying those stocks. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. And I lost a lot of money due to this misjudgment. The company primarily focuses on products to treat hemophilia, kidney diseases, immune disorders, etc. And none of those are COVID-related symptoms. And I think this is what I didn't understand before buying this stock. And uh, I was definitely, I definitely panicked because I did lose money, a lot of money, and I sold it as soon as possible. But I think my parents were an integral support during this moment because I was, you know, I wasn't, I was disappointed in my choice. And but yeah, they supported me continuously, and I think I rose above it and decided to, you know, still continue trading. I've also lost a lot of money trading in Bitcoin because I bought it when it was at its peak and I was expecting it for it to rise. But then the whole Tesla and Elon Musk thing happened where Tesla stopped accepting Bitcoin as a method of payment due to the environmental reasons they quoted and the value just dropped significantly. So I had to sell it at that point. But yeah, I think these were two of my biggest wrong investment choices. I think somebody should tell Elon Musk to stop tweeting about cryptocurrencies. I think everybody would be a lot happier <laughs> with that. Um, okay, so you mentioned, I mean, you, you've said you've lost a lot of money. Do you know how much that was? I'm not sure. I think it should be around seven, uh, five, six thousand. Um, I don't know. I do not remember the exact figures, though. What about your friends? Are they also trading? Oh, I genuinely make an effort to surround myself with people who trade in the stock market. So yes, I do have friends who trade, but some of them also trade in the virtual market, and it's still very helpful to hear their successes and failures. So you know, you can capitalize on those wins and perhaps avoid those losses. So, you know, in school, we're sitting at lunch break, we talk about the stock market, we see which stocks are doing good and the ones that aren't. We share our portfolios and just and this just serves as an amazing learning experience for me and my friends. I think it's extremely important to surround yourself with such a group who have the same or who have the same aim or goal in their mind. You know, I force myself to surround myself with people who trade in the stock market or who have the same mindset and this including my friends, my family, my family friends, etc. Okay. And... I mean, I, one of my questions was, you know, do you think it's wise that teens trade? And I mean, obviously, yes, because that's what you're doing. But what do your parents say about it? And are they, I mean, you mentioned before that, you know, they they helped you to calm down, you know, after the panic you felt when you lost quite a lot of money. Is that how they're helping you? Or are they also giving you tips about what to to trade in? Yeah, about my parents, they have been extremely, extremely supportive throughout my journey in the stock market. They have promoted me to do such things and have always supported me constantly in my research of the stock market. My dad especially just makes sure that I make the right investment choices. He sits with me and does the research. And sometimes when he leaves me around, you know, when he leaves me alone and when I lose money, he obviously supports me and tells me about how I can recover from this. And they do at times warn me about how I can lose a lot of money trading. And I always make sure to keep that in mind. Also answering your first question about do you think it's why that teens trade? I believe it is. I mean, if you're a beginner, you should refrain from investing a lot of money without any knowledge. I think researching the company you're investing in, and I think a great starting point would be a demo account as I did. A demo account is just extremely beneficial and it just shows you how and where to invest and what exactly is the stock market. And I believe if us teens start to trade at such a young age, we will be on the right path to financial independence in the future, which is extremely beneficial, especially in the modern world. Yes, uh, you're definitely right about that. I think, you know, learning financial skills is really important for, for youth to set up a healthy financial future for themselves. And that's been a major a major topic, you know, especially during COVID-19. So, I mean, you've mentioned some of the stocks that you're, you're trading in. Do you have favorite stocks that you fall back on, you know, or, or are there any stocks, you know, that you're looking at uh, investing in in the future? Uh, as I said, my favorite stock is definitely EA at the moment, because as I said, they're launching uh, this next generation technology that could potentially revolutionize the video game industry and definitely a stock to look out for this year. I also really like playing video games, so I'm really intrigued by the company itself. And yes, I have bought five shares of the company and I do own them right now. Additionally, I think Tesla has been my favorite share over the past year because obviously it has earned me a lot of money, as I said before. And yeah. I think these two were and are my favorite stocks right now. Okay. What about, do you have a favorite, you know, kind of famous investor who inspires you? I, I don't know. It could be Warren Buffett, Elon Musk, or perhaps not after um, his comments about crypto these days. Is there any anybody who inspires you at all? You know, it's pretty ironic. I do like Elon Musk. Like, I think I, he is my inspiration. He has done some things that has made me lose money, but I feel overall, 
is the way he approaches this sort of, you know, stock market and trading cryptocurrencies, I think has really revolutionized this sort of trading industry. I think the most thing that inspires me about him is how he came from such a small town, small village in South Africa, and to going to be one of the, you know, the richest most or like the second richest person in the world right now. And yeah, just how he didn't stop once he earned a lot of money, even when I think I was back in the 90s, when he sold uh, PayPal for over $196 million, a lot of people stop at that point and just try to chill, but he really didn't. And he just kept going, kept going, work hard and to the place he is right now. And I think he has been a big inspiration for me. The money that that you have earned from your investments in stocks, what are you, what are you planning to do with that? So basically, I have I run an organization, a nonprofit organization called Defy, where we help individuals around the world. And right now, we are based in five countries, including UAE, India, Pakistan, Egypt, United States. And what we basically do is we help uh, underprivileged individuals, including orphans, labor workers, and people of determination, by providing them food supplies and resources that they could benefit from. And we use a uh, we use three D designing as our way to help them because we design a few innovative projects and then we send it, send them in for manufacturing. And I think that obviously requires a lot of funding. And I, over the past few days and months, I have used my profits in the stock market to fund my organization. And it just makes me really, it just makes me feel good about how I can make such a difference in today's world. I've also been acknowledged by the Diana Award Foundation um, uh, because of my, philanthropic works and because I used my profits from the stock market to help such underprivileged individuals around the world. That's a really good thing to do, definitely. Um, I think you're one of the, there's not many people in this world who who do those sorts of things. So it's very admirable. Um, and uh, can I ask you as well, what year are you in at school at the moment? Well, I actually finished grade 11, to be honest. I'm going to go into grade 12 this September. Okay. And after that, you're planning to go to university. What are you going to study? Finance, perhaps? Definitely. I'm planning to go to university either in the United States or the United Kingdom. And yeah, either economics, business management or finance. But yeah, mostly finance. And I'm probably one of my dream career is to become an entrepreneur. But also I'm looking at becoming an investment banker and those sort of career options. But yeah, at the moment, I'm really looking forward to pursue a bachelor's degree in finance or economics. Well, I think your trading experience uh, will help you definitely to achieve those those. Uh career goals. And then finally, can you offer us any tips for other teens interested in getting started in trading? Start with a demo account, as I said before and before, again and again, just because the demo account essentially gives you every single information you need. It's literally like you're trading with your own money, but it's virtual, you know? So the demo account would help you get acknowledged with uh, complicated terms that can help you uh, earn money when you're actually investing real sort of money when you're investing real money right additionally i would say you know always have a look out on youtube and investopedia because youtube is such a great resource i think we really undermine how beneficial youtube is in today's world because literally there are so many videos on youtube about the stock market and about the stocks that are going to rise about detailed uh, insights analysis evaluations i think those are really helpful for new investors and yeah, I think those will be my two or three tips that uh, teens who are looking to start investing in the stock market should acknowledge and should take in. What about how would you tell them to handle losing a lot of money? It really depends on your financial situation. Uh, do not start with a lot of money at first. I think rely mostly on your money, not on your parents' money, because you are going to be feeling bad if it's your parents' money. And I think you might you might end up um, getting in trouble. But as uh, for tips, I think it's just perseverance. There are going to be downturns, just like everything in life. And you just have to, you know, focus on what you're doing, hard work and research the companies you're investing in. And I think those will help you get through whatever downturn you have gone through. Thank you this week to Advait Arya, an Abu Dhabi based teenager who started trading last year. If you would like advice on your personal finance issues, you can write to me at pfatthenational.ae. And remember, PF stands for personal finance. Please do subscribe to Pocketful of Dirhams on your podcasting app to receive weekly updates. And also leave us a review so we know what you think. 
This episode was produced by Arthur Edison, and I've been your host, Felicity Glover.